what is the relationship between your pricing strategy and your positioning? Hi, my name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women to scale and grow your business. And growing your business, ladies, is never about just one thing. You need to work on all areas in your business. So please don't focus on one thing. And I position myself as the most all-round person you can find because I have 31 years of business experience of my own and the last 10 years I help business women to scale and grow their business. Now about positioning and finding your ideal client because that's where it starts. I want to tell you a story about fishing. What about if you would go fishing for a specific fish? Well, will you go to the ocean and you're on a boat and you throw out your uh, rod, your line, your fishing line, and you need to wait if the specific fish that you are fishing for is going to bite. You see, the ocean is really wide and you have the same fishing line as everybody else. Now, for example, you go to a little pond and you know that the specific fishes you want to fish for, they are there. And you've done something else. You've looked for what bait do they like. You've looked for a specific rod or fishing line that is very applicable for just this specific sort of fish. And then when you go on your boat or on the, on the bank and you throw out your fishing line, chances are that you get the right fish on the hook are a lot bigger. Now I hope you see the relevance of this story if you have a wide niche and many people can be your client, it's very difficult to stand out from all the other fishermen or fishing ladies that are out there trying to find leads. But if you niche and if you have a specific client that you're looking for and you have the right bait products and programs and you have the right line um, what their pain points are and all these kind of things. So you know your audience really well, the imaging, the colors, everything, then it's a lot easier. So let me give you some tips on this. It's difficult to position yourself. It's difficult to stand out from the crowd. Therefore, your pricing cannot be very high because if there's a lot of offers, People often check prices, okay? Tip number two. When you have a specific niche and a smaller audience, there's less competition, you are more positioned as the expert, and then your pricing can be higher. Now, the importance is that when you have high prices, you really need to work on your positioning because your ideal client need to look at you and ask, that's the person I need for me to solve that problem. And the positioning is your experience. What experience do you have in regard to the topic that you're helping your clients with? Is that a few years? Is that lots of years? Is that many years on your own? Or did you also do this for your former uh, boss? That's something that's important. Tip number B about how to position yourself when you ask high prices is you need to focus on results. You need to focus and, and show your client and tell them this is what results you will have. This is where you will be in so much time. So I guarantee you will double your business within a year. That is exactly talking about the results, all right? Positioning also needs to involve the pain of your clients. So what exactly are their problems, but how much, pro how much pain does that give them? The challenges, the not knowing, the not having, the not whatever. 
What does it do with your client? And you need to have reviews from the clients that you are targeting to. That's my tip number D when you want to position for high ticket clients. So summing it up, the higher the price, the better you need to be able to position yourself. And um, so the more you need to know about your ideal client and the more your ideal client needs to get the idea that, hey, this is the lady or man who knows me and this is the person I want. And if they, if, if, if that's what you can do really well, you can also ask higher prices. All right. Now, if there's anything else in your business that you need to work on and you might not know it, but I can tell you there is because there always is, there's always so much things you need to work on in your business. Let me help you. You can schedule a quick 15 minute call. I will not be selling you anything during this call. It's just for me to check. Is there anything I can help you with and to check if we like each other and we can always take it from there and I can help you with anything in business it's not just one topic I'm not a I never believe in a one topic business coach because there never is just one thing you need to change in business it's all connected all right I'm looking forward to maybe talking to you soon and if not to be able to inspire you and teach and train you again in the next video and don't forget to subscribe for my YouTube channel, Powerful Business Academy. Bye bye.